How do you do, my friends? There are three rules. There are three very, very important rules that you have to follow in order to be a perfect driver, in order to be a perfect everything in life. So, there are no such thing as a small rule that can be ignored. There are plenty of small details that are extremely, extremely important and very, very important to follow. But these three rules are definitely at the very top. They kind of a fundamental things that you have to follow. So, one rule is absolutely, perfectly doable. So, that rule is very doable and... It is never drive beyond your capabilities. In almost all activities of all the human beings and people who do certain things in life, you know exactly what you can or what you cannot do. What you can and cannot do. We're not talking about crazy stuff like dares, challenges, pushing the boundaries, and all that crazy stuff. No, in the normal circumstances, you know what you can and what you cannot do, right? So what you're capable of doing applies absolutely the same rule in driving. So if you're capable of doing a certain thing, and you have a full confidence that you can do that particular maneuver or move, then you do it. If you're not certain that you can do a certain move on a road, you're not doing it. Do not do it. So in other words, you're not, in order to have a perfect driving feeling, you have, that, you have to have that confidence. Confidence in your abilities and capabilities. If you're capable of doing certain things perfectly, you do it. If you're not certain, do not do it. It's as simple as that. Never go beyond your capabilities. But that comes with time and experience. So, once again, they're very, very important. I would place it definitely on top of all the rules of driving and moving in general. Never drive beyond your capabilities. Do not drive beyond your capabilities. If you're not capable of doing certain things on the road, do not do it. The rule number two, extremely important. It's kind of like a high concept. It's kind of like a high concept because I don't think that I don't think that it's practically doable, hundred percent. But that's something that you have to aspire to. It is extremely, extremely important. That rule, number two, never place yourself at the mercy of other drivers, at the mercy of anybody else. I know in real life, it is impossible. That's kind of like a perfect concept. Never place yourself at the mercy of other drivers. A lot of people assume things that it's my right of way. I have a light, I have this lane. I have this preference. I can do this. I can do that. Yes, you can. But once in the blue moon, there are people who are totally unaware of your rights or can ignore it completely. So if you place yourself at other people's mercy, you want to make sure that you understand that they see you, respect your rights, and do what they're supposed to do. So I would say, I would say definitely. Do not assume things like this. You know, assumption is the mother of all troubles in life. You assume certain things, especially in regards to your rights and preferences and what you can do. Some people may ignore it. So, and that's exactly what happened in the world. You know, one of the funniest things that I, I just can't believe I see it every single day, every single day, is people especially pedestrians or people in the small scooters on bikes or you know skateboards challenging cars trucks and buses like sometimes they're very very aggressive they move towards you and then 
I'm on the cham. Look what's going on. I mean, are you kidding me? Where you going? What's going on? It's my way. Hey, look out. Never, ever challenge anybody. Just do not challenge anybody. Always watch for yourself and where you at. I mean, this retarded, stupid challenges is really, really mind boggling. You have to realize that there are people who simply do not see you. People who ignore you, people who are tired, people who are not very experienced, people who are in a very bad, sour mood, people who just totally hate everybody else. So in challenging people and showing and yelling at them, hey, watch where you're going, this is my way, this is my road, never do it. Just never do it. Just never, ever do it. You know, once you can contain your emotions and be very level had it, seeing things as they are on the road and taking that little break, letting those people go, you will see how easy everything is. So in other words, that rule number two is practically not really doable because you're always at mercy of someone interacting with people on a road, but you have to aspire to do as much as you can. Never challenge anybody, never yell at anybody. Always look at cars and vehicles, especially big ones, and mind your business. Even if they're completely wrong, let it go, let it go, let it go. Which leads us to rule number three. It is a very important rule and so easy to implement. And once you do that rule, you will feel very, very good about yourself, how calm you are, how easy you feel, and how everything falls into place. So here comes the rule number three. It's always way, way safer to have an asshole in front of you than on the sides or behind it. If somebody challenges you, is very impatient, intimidates you, or trying to move, always, always let them go let him go let him in winners go first winners go first because it's way way easier and safer to have an asshole in front of you so you can't control the situation when people start pushing you from the sides from the back being very impatient loud intimidating so that beautiful simple rule winners always go first let him go let him go never challenge those people and then again, you, you never know the circumstances. Some people really have like dire circumstances, like very important things to do. Some people just being assholes. That's what they are. They all there massively every single day. And not to expect them every time you're on a road is just stupid. So you have to factor it in. You have to factor it in the thing that there's millions of people who indifferent, incapable, angry, in a sour mood, and whatever. Like I said, that rule number three is very, very nice. It's way safer to have an asshole in front of you than anywhere else around. So let them go. Let them go. Have fun. Stay safe. Drive and enjoy yourself on the road. And as a matter of fact, all these three rules never... Let me repeat it for you. Let me repeat it for you because... I repeat certain things not because I forgot that I already said that. I repeat it because they all worth repeating. So that rule number two, never drive beyond your capabilities. You should know the range of actions you can do easily with self-confidence and you can implement with perfect security. Never drive beyond your capabilities. Rule number three, number two, pardon me. Never place yourself at the mercy of other people. I know it's a very conceptual rule. Like I said before, it's not very easy to implement it if it's not impossible. But try to do as much as you can. Never place yourself at the mercy of other drivers. And the rule number three, it's always way safer to have an asshole in front of you. So all these winners, angry people, all these champions and top dudes and girls... Let them all go. Have fun. Stay safe. I'll see you later.